I greet each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we thank God that you are here with us this, this wonderful day. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. All right. Just to make sure that I'm not talking to myself. But we thank God that you are here with us. And we know that uh, as we continue this series on the mind, i just like us to, uh, I'm going to read a scripture to you from Romans chapter 12 using the message translation. The message translation. In the book of Romans chapter 12, and in verse 1 and 2, because the message translation is such that they interpret uh, not just one verse, it doesn't stand by itself, but the contextual points is always, contextual point of the verse is always interpreted as well. So uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, message translation is, I find it very apt for what's, uh, what has God been speaking to us, to us through Papa Jonathan. Now, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, it says, so here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life. You're sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life. And place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit in to it even without thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you develops well-formed maturity in you. I think the message translation is very, very good for us to understand, for us to begin to understand, do not be conformed. The King James said, do not be conformed. But message begins to exp explain it in such a way, don't be so well adjusted to your environment. Many of us don't realize that the environment is shaping our mind, shaping our life, shaping our perspective, and shaping our attitude. But the Holy Spirit, as he begins to work in our life every day, and as we are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is always adjusting our attitude. And attitude in the Greek is a mental posture. How we begin to see things, how we begin to view everything from God's perspective. Our mind is a bridge between the supernatural and the natural. All things supernatural must become natural. Our mind is where God's image is planted in. Many people, are, um, they are beginning to worship God in their own image of who God is to them and what they want God to be. But the mind must be transformed, must be changed, must be challenged every day to begin not to conform, not to accept the facts around our life. But as we begin to allow the truth of God's word to begin to challenge our mind, the way of the kingdom is always opposite of the way of the world. And we know this for true. But as we begin to take God's word and as we begin to really allow God's word to go deep into our heart and our mind, it will challenge the natural paradigms. Not to live according to our own standards, not to live according to our own perspective, not to live according to our own standards, but according to the standards, the values, and the virtues of God. Our mind is such an important component. You can be a believer for years, and if our mind is not changed, our life will not be changed. We are just a, a dry sinner who became a wet sinner at the time of baptism. But Jesus' first command in the book of Matthew chapter 4, he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The word repent is the word metanoia, simply meaning a total change of mind. It's almost you need a mind transplant, almost. That's what it really, really means. The kind of mind you need to live in the supernatural. Your mind must have the values, virtues, and understand the laws of the supernatural. The supernatural laws are simple, but it's hard for the mind to comprehend it. 
the mind must comprehend and must begin to accept that there are divine facts that rule our life, not the natural facts. And I pray today, even as we continue to hear what God is speaking to us again, and I think, you know, uh, if there's anybody that I hear constantly who understands the, uh, the importance of the mind in, in, our, in our ability to walk in the spirit all the time is Papa Jonathan. And we thank God that God has used him to bring about the right doctrine, right about the, the right belief system, and so that we can now live in the spirit and in the natural at the same time, because God made us to live in two realms at the same time. That's the way that God made us to live. We are the only beings on the earth. The animals don't have it. Nobody, has, nobody else has the capacity to live in the unseen reality and the seen reality both at the same time. And it's amazing how God created us. I pray today that our minds are ready to be changed, challenged, and realize the adjustments that we need to make. You know, we're not listening to a teaching. We're not listening to us uh, preaching. We're listening to a belief system that must go deep into our spirit. This belief system, this conviction that God has given to our Father must become our conviction. Do not take it as a teaching. Do not take it just as a preaching. But begin to capture Capture the convictions and the belief system and plant it deep. Why? Because our convictions and our belief system will produce what we think. If we want to change what we think, we must change what we believe. And there are two kinds of belief. One is passive belief and one is aggressive belief. The aggressive belief will always cause us to challenge the environment and take action of our life. So I pray today, that as you are listening and as we are capturing the convictions of the Holy Spirit into our heart and into our mind, we will be changed today by his grace and by his mercy. Amen. Father, we open our heart and open our mind today. We're hungry. We're thirsty. We pray, oh God, that we will not be familiar. We will not let every spirit of familiarity leave our heart and mind, our lives today, oh God. And we pray that we want to hear you. We want to see you. We press in. Even as we hear the word, we give you the best attitude. We don't give you an attitude of passivity. We don't give you an, uh, uh, an attitude that it's just another word. No, Lord, you are speaking through your servant. And we will heed your word, oh Father. We will obey your word and we pray. Let there be such a hunger and a thirst for the revelation of father that our mind is a bridge between heaven and earth upon re revelation to reality thank you lord for this day i pray for each hearer give us a hearing ear seeing eye and a heart that will understand you lord in the name of jesus we pray and everybody say amen 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 i pass the time over to our dear father Second Corinthians chapter 4. I want you to enjoy this session because we are working the devil out of business. Yes. He's going to be retrenched yes. and fired. Yes. He won't work in your alley anymore. Yes. Let's keep it that way. Yes. I'm almost tempted to sing a song again. Because I like the song, that's, that's the way I like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are laughing because you know the song. <laughs> but having the same spirit of faith. Are we going to have the same spirit of faith? Yes. According to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We also believe, therefore we also speak. Knowing that he who raised Jesus from the will raise us also with Christ. Say, I believe. I believe. Therefore, I spoke. Therefore, I spoke. We, also believe. we also believe. 
Therefore we speak. What is the content? Knowing. We speak because we know. That's the key. We speak because we know. We know that we know that we know that the devil knows, the, 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 the fear knows, the world knows. Hallelujah. It's called the spirit of faith. Knowing is very powerful. Did I, did I help you in John chapter 13? That was JLS, is it? Knowing that the time had come. JLS? Okay. Somebody say knowing. If you don't know what you know, you will know your actions are not going to be programmed. If you know something so deeply, all your actions in the future will be pre-programmed. Way ahead of time. If you know if you go to that beach to swim, there may be a lot of rocks and you have to pass the rocks to go to a nice swimming place. You will not walk empty. You'll have the, all the necessary tools, shoe, so that you don't get hurt. If you know Melbourne, I mean it's a city, not a girl. <laughs> it's the most livable place. The problem with that livable place is that you have four seasons in one day. Any day it can rain. Any day it can have wind. Any day it could be dusty. Wellington's is like that too. Four seasons in one go. But if you don't know that feature of the city, suddenly the wind blows, you don't have anything to hold you back. I mean, suddenly it rains. The wind becomes stronger and stronger. You have nothing to protect yourself. I'll show you chapter 5. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 11. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade every man. Our actions are determined by what we know. Say, our actions are determined by what we know. So all the facts that are there, you must make sure that it is judged according to the truth of Scripture. The spiritual man can look at the accounts and see there's not enough money and yet still stay stubborn on the track of faith. You'll not turn to the left or to the right until this thing become a reality. So all the facts in your mind, bring it to be judged by what you, is revealed to you in scripture. So that the word that comes out is dealt with by scripture. The thoughts that come through must be dealt with scripture. You watch Pastor B as I get more and more involved with him. He thinks scripture. He talks scripture. Are you listening? This is very powerful and this is very safe if you do that. You know you say something that completely has no, nothing to do with the scripture. But facts, say facts, facts. Truth. truth, one must stand above the other. You say, I don't have money, I don't have money, I cannot go, it's true. According to these facts, these are facts. According to the truth, it elevates you from the facts so that you can escape the, the smallness of facts or the weakness of facts. Can you say amen? amen. We don't know what to pray. We don't know how to pray, but the truth is the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Yes. And it cannot be that we are not graduating. He's the best teacher. Yes. I said he's the best. Yes. He's the best comforter. Yes. He's the right one for us. Yes. Then how is it that we don't know? We should know. 
We must know. Yes. We will know. Yes. We can know. Yes. Why? Because he is our teacher. Yes. So let's elevate truth of scripture above the facts in life. You can consider everything but still do what God asks you to do. The spiritual mind appraises all things but he himself is not judged by what he knows. Sometimes when I arrive in the hall, I've told the people, God's going to speak to us in this manner. I arrive in the hall, I still don't have anything. But God delivers that thing in your heart. Because he made you say it, he will also make it, make the Holy Spirit put the right thing inside. I want you to live like that. Because that's the best place and best way to live. Yes. Number two, experiences that are real must be subject to the ideals of new creation life. Experiences that are real must be subjected and judged by the ideals of new creation realities. Experiences that are real must be subjected and judged by the ideals of new creation reality. Put it down and I explained it to you. One of the authors that write a lot about the mind, what's his name? Uh, I almost say Bruno. Bruno is a dog. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Edward De Bono. If you read it fast, it sounds like Bruno. He is an authority when it comes to the development of the mind. But let me say this to you, including Sigmund Freud, Sigmund, Sigmund Freud. You listen to him more and more, your brains will be fried. And we have so many counselors, Carl Jung, Carl Jung, Skinner. These guys can skin you. We need to teach about the mind. Send it over to the other side. Let them know the God who created the mind has spoken. The power of drugs, the power of persuasion of the enemy, the lies that they spread around, people will know them overnight. That's why God has made it clear to you. Take back your mind. I said take back your mind. Take back your thought life. So that all the ideals that God put into you will be lived out in your life. Yes. That's why I say every experience, every experience. Every experience. Say every experience. Every, experience. every negative experience. Every negative experience. That, comes that comes into my life. Must not be allowed. Must not be allowed to, continue to continue. Because the new creation realities. Put an end to sin life, past life, so that I can be free to function according to God's word. He recreated my spirit and redeemed my body and restored my soul so that I can live and not die. So everything that happens, the spirit of rejection, the spirit of fear, the spirit of, the spirit of, poverty, the spirit of poverty, all that attacks me, all that attacks me will be judged, will be judged by, the by the spirit of life that brought new creation realities. Creation. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name, scripture says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. I can behold new things have come. Now all these things come from God who reconciled us to himself 
through Christ and gave us a ministry of reconciliation. Namely, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting the trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Can you say amen to that? I love God. It's just, just so amazing. New creation reality. Say, God is working for us. God is working in us. God is working through us. And in chapter 6, we are working with him. When the new creation realities become real. Good. Listen to this again and say it. When new creation realities become true. We will silence the experiences and their consequences in our life. So we can cut short. In righteousness, in righteousness, the negative experience. The negative experience. Experience, is not always the best teacher. experience is not always the best teacher. Some of us deify, make God, make like God. Deify, all right, not D5. That's your seat number, but deify. bad experience you talk to them they talk back to you again the same thing if you see them tomorrow they talk the same thing again when you have members like that you need to put a clear stand the ideals of new creation life God has caused you to be born again new life begins are you still there? Yes. New life begins, faith comes in. All this dimension will have to silence the past. You cannot let the past come across. You remember the Australian, Australian lady that said to me that my mother wanted to abort me when I was already six months. The doctor gave her some medication. The father approved it. So the father, the doctor, the mother, plus all of hell decided to get rid of this baby. But when you look at her, she's not baby, she's 35 years old. When she said to me, please pray for me, I like to listen what they want. He said, pray for me that I can be free from the spirit of rejection. I said, what happened? He said, I read Joyce Meyer's book. He confirms that. Prophet came from somewhere, cannot remember, because prophets come from anywhere. <laughs> and then I said to her, you don't have the spirit of rejection. You have the spirit of resurrection. Yes. She said, what? Nobody told me that. I said, I'm telling you in Jesus' name. She said, why do you think it's happening this way? I said, because you believe a lie. You mean I can be set free? I said, you are already free, only you don't know. The fact that you are here standing before me, God has set you out of the cave. Out of the cage, you can fly. But for you to fly, you need this wind. Yes. This wind of doctrine yes. that is established in Christ. Yes. I said, 35 years have passed. You're still living in this rut. I say, when you are at the weakest point, six months in the mother's womb, your mother, your father, your doctor, and the devil, Four of them conspire to kill you. You could not defend yourself because you're too small. You cannot, you're at the most vulnerable stage. God came in and got them to abort the mission. 
e even though they carried it out, give them no result. And now you're living 35 years, you should be telling that story. The devil is a weak person, he joined my mother, my father and my doctor plus the devil. Nothing can touch my life. And you should be living for the last 35 years, you should be telling them that they tried to kill me but I'm alive. You're a survivor. You cannot be assassinated. They found you, located you but they cannot destroy you. They send a drone, cannot destroy you. Sorry, this few lines that I just said, I didn't talk to her because they were, this is just extra for you. This is extra for you so that you can rejoice. God set her free. So she came back into the conference after that, after that evening, telling everybody, the prophet confirmed this, that I have a spirit of resurrection. She believed, became free. I said everything that you accumulate or accumulated in your mind, in your emotion, you jam pack it, screw it up, push it in, put more of the frustration, all these things still is in the air and still in you. Put an end to this rubbish. All the extra ammunition that you still have because you hate your mother and hate the doctor and hate your father, take it all out because it's all part of the same done deal. I said become free. The next time I went to that city in Brisbane, fresh air. You look at her, you will never know she's gone through 35 years of struggle over one spirit. God can do that for you. The past doesn't have to repeat. The demons doesn't have to stay. Familiar spirit doesn't have to control you. The new creation realities is a proof that we have moved from left to right. It's a proof that we can prove God's will so that enemy cannot pull us back. So you're free. If the sun set you free, you're free. Yes. You're born again. Yes. Born to win. Yes. Child of the Most High God. Yes. That's how you are. That's how you're living. That's how we're going to live. From now on, we've got to cut off the past yes. by making the present a day of revelation. Yes. It's no use saying that I'm going to get out of the past and still struggle and still once in a while get tempted to bring the matter up and then cover it by the blood of the Lamb and then bring the matter up again. Every now and then your mother is not responding to you well, take it out on and renegotiate. In 35 years, this lady had many opportunities to take this thing out, make it stronger case. In fact, by the, after 35 years, your story changed. Now you, there's so much in there, it's an exaggeration. What never happened, you still create it. Be very careful. That's why I'm, I did, I'm not sure if I told you. Did I tell you that in the, last, in the last days or the days ahead of us, when the Spirit of God is going to lead us and protect us in the days to come, there will be a resurgence of teaching, inner healing, spiritual mapping. What else? deliverance and all these things is going to come back in extreme. Don't go and put your head in under that council. You pray that God deliver you so that you don't be foolish to run after these things. I believe in inner healing. But the way it's practiced is not right. I believe in deliverance. The way it's understood is not accurate. 
When God wants to take you and show you that greater is he who is in you than he that's in the world, then the devil will throw and flush out another doctrine saying, you've been cursed, seven generational curses, five, then seven, then goes to thirty-five. You are free. I say you are free. The one who lives in you is greater than he that lives in the world. The one who lives in you will bring glory back to the earth. Christ is in us. The Son of God will manifest in us and in through our lives in the days to come that nobody can stop the manifestation of Christ. Don't listen to this thing and become afraid. Those experiences are real. Are you listening? Those experiences are real. But God's setting you free and God giving you a new creation life that is greater than the experience. Did you experience fear when suddenly it's dark and you're in a place where you don't know where to turn on the light. You feel f afraid. But you must not allow what you experience which is real to go to the other side. No extremes. God is better than anything else. Are you listening? No matter how much you are heard, there is healing. Doesn't matter how far you've gone into error, there's deliverance. Yes. What God does must swallow up everything the devil does in your life. Yes. Because if you do that, you give no glory to the enemy, but Christ becomes revealed. Yes. So all the experiences in your mind, shut it down. Yes. If you leave the new creation reality, all these things will be flushed out. Yes. It'll be so easy. Now when you sing born again, born to win, you know what it means. New creation reality. Where is it? Where does it happen? In here. Where is the battle? Fighting in here. If you let the devil get out there and become Lord over your life and get out there, stir a situation that you become intimidated by, you lose. Stand up in faith. What he has done is better. What he has done is better than anything else. Rain can come, the wind can blow, but Christ lives in you. Amen? Amen. Say so after me, facts that are true must be subjected to the truth of Scripture. Experiences that are real must be subjected and judged by the ideals of new creation realities. Amen. You believe that? Yes. Just one last one. I only have how many minutes? Thank you. Sorry, I, I look at my notes. I thought it's onions, it's opinions. Strange people are affecting my frequency. <laughs> right down number three. Not onions, opinions that matter must be discerned by the spirit of revelation. Opinions that matter must be discerned by the spirit of revelation. Just follow these principles. Have them so that you can check every incoming, oncoming facts, experiences, opinions, not onions, knowledge that comes. 
against you. Sometimes people talk to us because they're kind, they say something. That something sometimes doesn't sit well with us. There's your father, your mother, your brother, your sister. Because they're close to you, you pay a little bit more attention to them than anybody else. That's why I said opinions that matter. They desire the best for you too. They're your parents, your brothers, your sisters. Sometimes we want to listen to that because of the relationship. Are you listening? Sometimes when the devil passes through the wife's voice to get on to Adam, Adam did not think twice, he straight away obeyed. He got himself into lots of trouble. I want you to be careful. No matter who says what and what says who, check it up with the boss. He is the one who is called the revealer. He knows what is right, what is wrong. Be very careful because we have... All right, let me leave you the rest of you. But in Asia, among the Asians, there's always this obligation to listen to them, especially in opinions that matter. But so many people have been derailed because the parents want something that they themselves did not achieve. If they have never pursued until the end their education, they want the next generation to pursue it. I didn't become a doctor, but you must study hard to become a doctor because I didn't become one. You are one, they are number two. There's no reason for you to follow their footsteps because you and your father are two different people. You know the same thing that happens when you buy the remote control car. You find that the father said, I show you, I show you. No, no, you don't know. This is the way to run. So he's playing with it for one hour. The boy is crying so loud. The mother comes out of the kitchen and says, what is happening? I'm showing him he's crying. He's not showing anybody. The poor child is right. Daddy has any... The wife said, how long have you been playing with this? Just a while. Just a while. The young boy said, he hasn't given to me at all. <laughs> the father has a lot of explanation to do. He is playing because he never had a toy like this before. And he told his wife, please let me buy this because our son will enjoy this. <laughs> so he tells his son, even though I did not have it, I bring it into your generation. You are privileged. Papa didn't play this at all. Now because I love you. So one hour he's driving the car all over the place. This little boy in him will never allow that little boy outside. <laughs> be very careful. Opinions that matter must be discerned by the spirit of revelation. These are all the checkpoints to prevent the enemy so I got another ten. There's thirteen on my list. It's a good number. Maybe unlucky for many others, but it's a good number for you. Number four. 
new tale. Let me finish this. Because tomorrow we are going to take the city. I said tomorrow I'm going to show you how we can take the city. How you can raise one man. How you can raise one child. How you can raise one family. Raise one business. So that we can invade the territory and terrain of the enemy. Great grace will be upon you. So that every one of us can put a giant to flight. Because God shows that there are principles. I'm going to take it from Mark chapter 1 and chapter 2. Full chapter. So that we can go take the city. So I must, you must help me. So that we can be accurate. Not onions that matter, but opinions that matter. Are you ready? Number four. Knowledge that is received must be checked against principles of scripture. Knowledge that is received must be checked against the principles of scripture. What do I mean? There's so many theories in the internet. Uncle Google doesn't tell you everything. Somebody said, I Google you. I said, I don't know what that means. I Google you. Hallelujah. Thank God for those who have knowledge. But knowledge that is received must be checked. First they tell you, if you take butter, it's bad for you. Then they tell you, butter is okay, margarine. Depend which one of the country is promoting it. The rest of the world almost destroyed us when they say palm oil is bad. Are you listening? All kinds of things. You know whether it's good or bad? depending on how much cash is on the other side. I, I, think, I think it's one of our friends in Singapore. A certain pharmaceutical company has 24 different drugs for cancer. 24 different types of drugs for different types of cancer. He said he's been working with the company for so long only to find out that 60, 70 percent of more? Mom keeps the ac ac accounts accurate. More than 60, 70 percent, even more, she said. They know it does not work. This is the world we live in. Those who are sick are prolonged with sufferings. Let me tell you another thing that frightens you. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, depending on whether you know it or not. Many people say that they have found answers for cancer. For so many diseases, so many types of sickness. People have, some of them have actually said that people have found, people have been healed delivered and set free across the earth. But nobody will sell that kind of product. Because if you can heal cancer, they don't have to produce any more medicine. Any of pharmaceutical companies, sponsors, sports, world events, they have all the money to keep these products going, even though they have answers, which is cheaper. Do you know the basic cure for conditions like mine has to do with 
the food I take is food related. If, if you can get back to the right nutrition, the right food, it will take you a while. I don't mind because I'm going to get well for another so many years before Jesus returns. Or I'll wait on this side of the shore to see him return. Finish the assignment and hang out with you to see how you run. God is merciful to us. So please, as I said to you, the knowledge that you have, that you have received through the internet, through books, through tapes, it must set you free to the next level. Amen. So knowledge that is not uh, accurate must be dealt with. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. This alternative lifestyle will, is going to get out in every nation every nation you cannot stop this sorry to tell you you cannot stop this because God will flush everything out into the open it's God because he cannot judge what is hidden when it's exposed it will be judged we must not be afraid. I said to some of the politicians, we must campaign for family, not fight alternative lifestyle. Why attack them? They're not our answers. They have nothing to answer. You fighting them doesn't tell you that you are any far better. But if you manifest the truth, and tell the whole world how your family is happy and excited together living, how your children are rising, yeah. then it becomes a message you have modeled. Yeah. God by His grace is going to give us wisdom. Yeah. You cannot fight this flood of darkness. But when God flush them out and take them into the open, then He can deal with every one of them. If you fight, they manifest. Then you're going to become frustrated. You cannot do any work. Because then they sue you, attack you, demonstrate. You can't do your own church work. You can't do even do your business. I'm telling you, God will give us wisdom. Wisdom how to do it and favor who can be with you to the end. It's coming a time where wisdom will be so the signature anointing of your life that you'll do the right thing at the right time. Not afraid of what the devil can do. I find it difficult to explain to people, but I hope I can with you. You pray. You pray so hard that the Holy Spirit will fall upon your town, revival will break out. Supernatural things will begin to flow. Are you listening? Yes. God will manifest. Demons will be cast out. Healing is taking place. Then you find so many other rubbish gets into the open. Are you listening? Yes. Prostitute then discovered. Drug then discovered. Illegal gambling discovered. So all these things coming out to the open. And all of a sudden the devil tells you, see, your prayer didn't work. Your prayer is working. That's why these things are all coming out. But the problem is, the, when the police reports prostitute then then drug den illegal gambling 
The devil wants you to be afraid, saying, I've already taken over this place. Too late. No, it's not too late. It's just right. Because God is showing us all these things that have been flushed out. The cup is half full or half empty. When you read things that are wrong, you reinforce the wrong. But God is going to help each one of us, our churches, to be seeing things in different light. That doesn't mean that because we see so many things being reported, they were always there. Only you don't know. They've always been there. They've been hiding and hiding and hiding. The water level increased. Those who practice magic by books, they all came out. So when God flushes things out into the open, don't you ever dare say that you are being defeated look the more we pray for our city the more bad things happen because the devil has actually taken control no he wants to take control he's not in control that's why he's been flushed out he's been hiding for a long time but yet at the same time you you reinforce his theory God who's in you is greater than he that's in the world are you listening? Yes. God wants you to rise to the next level and break through. Yes. So you flush all these things out to the open so you can deal with them swiftly. Yes. And send them out. Yes. Amen? Amen? So can you read things properly? Yes. So that we'll see things in this proper light. Yes. Number five. Say after me, knowledge, knowledge. that is received must be checked against the principles, the principles of scripture. Number five, informations that are gathered must be aligned to the truth. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm trusting that your mind will become the best place and fully functioning and in order. I forgot to tell you that when you walk down the streets, walk past a certain area, your mind will begin to pick up words. Your spirit picked it up first. But you are all the while sensing something, but there is no A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no words. You're drawing certain things out of the, into the open, but you have no words. You only sense, but you cannot put your fingers on it. When the spirits of darkness in that area touch your spirit, straight away your spirit sends a message up to the, to the mind. Return, spirit of provocation. Then all of a sudden you can use your ammunition, begin to deal with the enemy. Can you say amen? amen? That's why it's very powerful. You don't have to search for them. You search here. Search here. What is your name? I said, we won't tell you. I command you in Jesus' name, tell your name. Tommy, you're lying. <laughs> Haha, Tommy never lies. <laughs> Where do you come from? Middle Ages. <laughs> How many of you are there? Four. Are you living today? Yes, we are living. Are you still in there? Haha, <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> and the other one said, blind me.
Why don't you ask your Facebook page too? <laughs> IC number, passport number, email, so that you can keep communicating with them. Why did Jesus ask the name? Because he wanted to show us that behind one can be many. My name is Legion for we are many. The devil don't ask him for information. He's a liar from the beginning. That's how he deceives us, cheat us, to ask him for answers. It's insanity. The devil is a liar. That's why your spirit and mind, when they function together as one, everything that you need to say, say everything I need to say. Everything I need to know. Everything I need to do. Will be released to me through the revelation of the Spirit. God wants me to be effective. An effective witness. So that by the Spirit, I know. Knowing that Satan had entered into the heart of Judas Iscariot. He took bread and gave it to him and said, whatever you want to do, do quickly. There is a power in our walk and relationship that we can walk in freedom, knowing the things he wants us to know, saying the things he wants us to say, receiving the things we need to receive. You believe that? No struggle. I've watched so many devils and demons Angels, fallen ones. The last day you're going to see them more. Many of them will come out into the open, not hiding. You'll be able to know them, feel them, because they'll be trying to get themselves manifesting in every way they can. But you must not be afraid. I say you must not be afraid because when you bring the serpent out into the open, judgment is about to begin. So the more they manifest, the surer you are, the more confident you are because they will not manifest until something is really going wrong. They cannot hide. God's going to flush the enemy. Are you listening? So every information that you gather, in the natural, in the spiritual, make sure it is aligned to truth. Because there are many theories in all the information. Some of them are just theories only. I would not put my life on it. But the Bible is different. I believe it. I'll stand by it. I'll preach it. I'll encourage others to believe it the same way I believe it too. Amen. Amen. Say information, information. that are gathered, that are gathered. Must, be must be processed. Data, Data. That, is that is aligned to truth. To truth. I, don't I don't want to believe, to believe everything, everything that people are saying. People are saying. I, want to I want to believe what the Holy Spirit reveals to me. Spirit reveals to me. My, mind My mind is satisfied. By the sacrifice, sacrifice. I discern discern that this information information is clean. clean. Amen. Amen. You must allow God to show it to you. When, When the serpent said, did God say? Direct attack on God's word. Did God say And if you say, yes, God said it, you stand a better chance of winning. It is written. God said it, not only said it, but it's written. The only thing that is left behind is for the judge to read what is written and the sentence will be served. When he said written, that's almost the last. So the case is going on for months and months. So finally, 
the judge decides what's going to happen. So he writes, he writes, he writes, he writes, he writes. Ten pages. Serious criminal case. If the next morning he reads everything that is written, what is written is served as judgment. That's why the written judgment of God, say the written judgment. The written judgment of God. So whatever God has written, I'm telling you, you've got to use it and when you speak what is written, the case is closed. When the Lord spoke to me about Mom and I, we were in Moab in the early days of our ministry. When we bound this young girl with demons, say in the name of Jesus be bound. The Holy Spirit put the hands together, the knees together, the elbows together and bound the person. Even though there was no cloth or whatever that's binding the person, but the person fell this way. So we prayed, cast out the devil, the turn here, turn there, all the joints were locked. Now when I pray and I say, in the name of Jesus be bound, I can see this mental picture. Knee, ankle. We try to turn her, turn her, <coughs> turn her around to the other side. <coughs> Out in Jesus' name. <laughs> There they go, there they go, there they go. I thank you, my father. Miracles do happen. Sometimes you frustrate the devil by just not paying attention to him. The more attention you pay, the more he fools around. He leaves because he's not entertained. Sometimes demons manifest in our crusades. They manifest, they scream. I said, in the name of Jesus, let that come to an end. Straight away sat down there, did not talk. For the next two, three hours as we minister, then finally he comes up on the stage, started to open the mouth trying to say something. I said, since you've been quiet for so long, just get out. Lives of people can be set free. Because you have nothing in you that belongs to the devil. To steal from the shops is different from stealing from the mafia. You steal from the mafia, the penalty is worse. Because you can be thrown to jail. These people thrown you into the coffin. I believe, stretch your hands, we'll have a short break, okay? I believe that God is giving you courage beyond measure. Yes. Because the deceptions that are coming, the avalanche of deceptions that are coming, you will never be afraid. I'm only telling you because I want you to know. But the day is coming when truth will set you free. Yes. That you believe in the power of truth to such an extent that when you open your mouth and begin to speak and say, Our God reigns, yes. He reigns. Yes. You'll announce peace, yes. confidence yes. in the hearts of men and women like never before. Yes. Because they will not be taken by fear. Yes. Terror will not hit them. Darkness will not frighten them. Yes. Fear will not frighten them. Yes. Even fear will be afraid coming near to you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let there be such a courage that comes in our hearts. Yes. Because the days have come. And now is when the sons of God will begin to rise. Yes. God will give you the tool. The tool is how to live this new creation life. Yes. That will be your weapon. Yes. That will be your weapon of war.
How to live? Yes. Not how to die. Yes. How to live? Yes. How to make sure that everything that's around your life leaves? Yes. And all those connected to you to leave? Yes. I see the enemy will hide for a while, here and there, in the heavenlies for a while, in this factory, in that factory, and in this nation and that nation. But the time is coming, we'll go we'll flush out the enemy into the open. And the powers of the enemy will become more and more restricted and refined. And there'll come a point that all that he wants to do, he cannot do because he doesn't have the people, he doesn't have material, he doesn't have the freedom, doesn't have the, the, the place, the space. Because every place where the sole of your foot will tread on, God will give it to you. No weapon formed against you can prosper because you have surely taken thought in your mind that God will strengthen your hands. Stretch your hands and the Lord will train your hands for war. Speak the word and he will train your voice to penetrate through the powers of the enemy and begin to be like flying arrows piercing into the hearts of men and women. What God is going to release in your life and through your life is going to be so powerful it's going to be so freedom, filled with liberty, because the enemy cannot do anything whatsoever. No weapon formed against you can prosper. Be strong today. Be strong and, and be strong in the strength of his mind. Let strength rise in your heart. I see the Spirit of God saying that you should not be afraid. All that's going to happen in the days to come, it's going to come because God has already begun a process of working in your life. The leaves are for the healing of nations. I say the leaves are for the healing of nations. You will not turn to the left nor to the right. But everything that you have learned in this hour, you will be strong to feed the healing and have fear no more. In Jesus' name. Something is going to take place and that something is that God is going to sovereignly move you so that every weapon form against you will not prosper. Yes. They're trying to find a way to make you more and more accommodate them. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. They're going to make it easier and easier for us to conform. Yes. But we must know yes. when we can go, when we cannot go. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you can go, when you cannot go. I see the Spirit of God raise up mighty warriors. Yes. I said mighty warriors. Yes. Powerful. Yes. Confident. Yes. Regal. Yes. That when they face the enemy, there's no fear. Yes. Lift your hands and receive. Receive the power to prevail, yes. the grace to govern, yes. the unmerited favor of God empowering you yes. to live out the new creation reality. Yes. It's not a small thing that God will do a great work in your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Halama Sakari Liba Baba Sukuri and Dalaman Kuri Alamala Malaman Lila Baba Baba Sangala Receive today Lila la ma ba 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 sangam. Shiri la ma la ma la ma. Lili la ma la ma sakari anda. Shiri la ma la ma sangam.
telling you so many people, so many, I'm sorry to tell you what grieves the heart of God. There will be so many people out there in the ministry who seems to have like actually entered in that are slowly going to manifest weakness, things that are wrong with their life and great works are going to become small. Big churches are going to just fall apart. because they were deceived by the enemy. The church is only going to be strong when truth is there, yes. when truthful people are there, yes. honest worship, yes. prayer meeting with integrity, yes. the power of a changed life yes. is the power released by heaven to change lives. I want you to get ready because I see God creating space to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. You say, no, I, 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 I can't, I can't follow you. It's not about following those whom we care but following whom we share. And even as you go, there will be signs and wonders and miracles. All kinds of healing will begin to take place. Like it was in Charles Finney's day, where there were people within the range of five, five miles, five kilometers. They were impacted by that dimension of the spirit that was in me. The days are coming. I said, those days are coming. That when the spirit of God will fall so mightily upon them, they touch four, five people, and see them baptized in the Holy Spirit, that was good enough for that day. That was good enough for that hour. Because those five begin to be so changed, so transformed, so fully equipped by the power of the Holy Spirit that they went everywhere. They're going to minister the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shikara Lama Sanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Puri alama basakari andar alama Puri alama lama sakari andar andar Come stay with me, stay with me Stay with me for a moment Something is going to happen in your life. You will be the answer. You will be the answer. Because of you, things will change. You will be the answer. I see people turning everywhere to the north, to the south, to the east to hear for an answer. But there seems to be no answer anywhere and everywhere. God is going to speak. You will become the answer. Yes. There's no sword to kill except the sword of Goliath. Yes. Destroy the enemy, pick up his sword. Yes. Jesus. You don't have to fear because God is near. No weapon formed against you can prosper. No charge against you. Hallelujah. Yes. Just take your hands one more into the sky. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. The time is coming yes. when these hands will be hands that show care and love, yes. compassion and mercy, yes. and healing. Believe that word. Yes. You're cleansed. Yes. You're healed, you're delivered. Yes. 
You're delivered from all oppression. Yes. Stretch your hands. I can feel the Spirit of God is about to turn your life around. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You ready for this? Yes. Have you been waiting for this? Yes. Have you been asking for this? Yes. It simply means God's just going to supernaturally override yes. time, yes. situation, yes. every aspect of your life yes. to bring you into the climax of what He's doing. Not far away, it's here, nearby. Nearby. Just allow the Spirit of God to turn your life around, your heart around, your mind around, your emotions around. Father, we thank you right now. We declare in accordance to your word that we are new creation realities. Every knee must bow before the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for such a powerful day, the day when the Spirit of God is beginning to manifest and this get stronger and stronger and stronger we stand trusting you lord we stand trusting you lord we thank you for all those that are here today that by the power of the spirit that they have been walking and working and laboring in their house but cleanse them right now cleanse them right now that their spirit is free to stand together labor together worship together so that all that you desire to do will be done hallelujah all that you want us to do will be done. Yes. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. The power of the Holy Spirit. Carry every church to the next level. Carry every church to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Shikiri Alamala Masakari and Darenda. Uri Alamala Masakari and Darenda. Shiri Alamala Malamala Masakari and Darenda. Uri Alamaba Baba Sandara. Lama Baba Masakari and Darenda. take the city do not be afraid go take the city the city is at the door God has gone out into the city with a sh with a shout he is the God of the city God has gone way ahead of us God wants us to go and turn things around in a powerful way God has gone out he's gone into the city to change the thoughts of men and women so that God can bring them cl closer and closer to your house. Your family will become the choice instrument in the hand of God. I'm telling you, God has gone out. He's gone out of the house, straight into the city, because the God is the God of the city. I'm challenging you to make sure that the house of God is ready, because God's going to come into the house and He's going to take His place in the house. It he was heard that He was alone at home. 
They gather together, many of them were gathered together so that there was no longer any room, not even at the door. And he was speaking the word of God to them. Are you listening? I said, are you listening? God wants you and I to understand that he's gone out into the city. He's coming back to his house. He's going to release his word in the house. Not only release the word in the house, he don't want us to be silent. Because God is not coming to the house and be quiet. He's not going to be silent. He's going to speak. And it's going to cause faith to increase. Faith is going to rise up. Like the story in Mark chapter 2, the Bible says that four men carried one paralyzed man. And faith was in the heart of that man. And Jesus looking at him said, your sins be forgiven. He said, your son, your sins are forgiven. God is going to speak. He's going to declare. He's going to cause the people to increase. I believe that this is important text of scripture that you really need to have in chapter 1 and chapter 2 of Mark. Are you listening? Because the days are coming when this will so describe your church. You so describe your church that you can read this text of scripture and say it is fulfilled in your hearing. The city is waiting for you. I said the city is waiting for you. Jesus said if the miracles done in this city were done anywhere else, the whole place would have changed. I'm telling you, God is going to give you and I choice cities. Cities that are going to be cities of refuge. Cities of protection. Because God's going to raise them up in a very special way. So that the things that happen, you say, we have never seen anything like this before. Incredible reports. People are going to watch you so that you, it's to see whether you will do this or do the other. Are you listening? And I'm telling you, you will discover the people that have gone off. Though they cannot harm your church, cannot harm you. But God is going to show you the scribes that are sitting there and not reasoning in their hearts. But they will not affect every, anything that you are going to do. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. So that God can show you how to strateg strategically position the people in your church. Yes. So that when the word of God comes out, when the spirit of God begins to flow mighty upon them, yes. they will know that it's the Lord God. Yes. That he is in charge, he is in control. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God will separate the scribes from the other disciples. Yes. Good ones are coming. I say you cannot stop the good ones from coming. Sometimes church growth, as far as Mark, Mark chapter 2 is concerned, the whole house was full. But the good ones could not come. So you grow your church. You grow your G12. You grow your G22. Are you listening? You grow your church and the whole place is filled with people. But the ones who had faith had to come from the top. You can't stop them. And presently, all the seed is taken. Those who don't want to go forward are sitting in here. The scribes were not moving. They didn't say, these people have faith, let them sit. No. They sat in the place where these people of faith must sit. Can't come through the front door, can't come through the back door, so they went up and made a hole in the roof. People who with aggressive faith are coming. Miracles will be open. Powerful miracles will take place. Do you believe that? Yes. Supernatural miracles to believe. Yes. The four of them who had faith yes. delivered one paralyzed man. Yes. There'll be more and more people joining faith together. Things are going to happen supernaturally. Yes. You may not have an address. You may not have titles. May not have names. But you are significant. 
Distinguish because the features of God are upon your life. Yes. I can feel in the spirit that God who is already in the city, God is already in the house. This God will take you and I to the next level. God is going to move out. In every way, the lives of people are going to change. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So you must get ready. Yes. Bible said, He sternly warned him, immediately sent him away. He said to the paralyzed man, in Mark chapter 1, verse 44, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony. He went out and began to proclaim freely and to spread the news around to such an extent that Jesus could not, no longer publicly clear or enter the city, but stayed out in the unpopulated areas. And they were coming to him from everywhere. Jesus said, just go and show yourself to the priest. So a priest can certify you so that you can get back to society, to your mother, your father, your brother, your sisters. You can go out because now you have a leprosy that's already been healed. I will give you the insurance certificate. Are you clear? Yes. All kinds of amazing things will happen. Because at the end of the day, God wants you to get back. Not stay in the hospital. If you have friends in the hospital, just send them a get well card. Get well. Then put the word get out. This, don't make this your permanent place. Because they're not meant to be there. I said, do you want to be a giant slayer? I said, do you want to be a city taker? Do you want to be one that will create immediate, irre ir incredible reports? Yes. Then get ready for tomorrow. Yes. Chapter 1 and chapter 2 of Mark. Right after verse 22. Or you can do this whole, whole stuff. Right up to verse 28, chapter 2, verse 1 to verse 28, chapter 1, all the verses. I like this word. The city is at the door. The river is in the house. The oil is ever flowing. Hallelujah. You believe this? I believe with all my heart, soul and strength. I'm going to give to you tomorrow the template for city taking so that you know that city can be taken doesn't matter how many stories they build cities can be taken there's a book called uprising uprising of cities cities are rising up changing the thought pattern the lifestyle the health the wealth of the people cities are rising the way they build these cities and these rooms these offices make, make, make the people feel small, intimidated they're the giants those who are going to work every day see these tall buildings, overwhelming feel the wind of the city frightening People are being kept in bondage in their minds, in their soul. But there are new generation coming. We will inhabit the houses that giants build. It's true. The walls collapse, not the city. Four giants had stayed there. That's big house. You want to go there? The grapes, the corn, the barley, the cows will look like giants too. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
God don't want you to just take the city and kill it, destroy it. The land is not going to be destroyed. The things are going to come back to you. Yes. Yes. The Allied troops went and de destroyed Baghdad, Iraq. Disperse everybody. Democracy is not there. Devastation all over the place. The ex Prime Minister of UK apologized that he made a mistake in agreeing with the other Allied troops to go and bomb another country. You would not believe this. If you and I had done it, we will now call out to Hague and a tribunal will be sitting there to sentence you for war crimes. In the spirit world it's the same. Read Isaiah 60 and 61. Restoration is coming, my friends. God is going to rebuild cities. We cannot give the world just the message of the gospel to get them saved yeah. to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have to integrate them back to society yes. so that they will live, yes. so that they will be strong, yes. so that they will have life. Yes. My desire is those of us who are old. Oh, sorry, those who are OLD. <laughs> will find life back. So that they can live the rest of their life. Not as being alone. But together. What you never achieve in life, you can achieve it. What you have never seen happen in your life, you can see it happen in your life. The young people. Rise to the full potential. Yes. The ladies, rise to the full potential. Yes. Pastors and teachers, rising for the full potential. Yes. Because Jesus came to give us I said Jesus God came to give us life and life abundantly. We must give them back life. Like I said to Pastor Bob the other day, you cannot understand why you're gathering, buying more house, more land, more property. I know why. Because when you start to rebuild the city and do what you need to do, people will be shocked that how large the heart of the church is. You give them a home, give them a place. If there comes an opportunity and you get the skill and the talents and the call of God on your life and land is available for food production, that is if you have the expertise, that is if it's the right time. Don't have this kind of land in the midst of robbers. You won't have land, you won't have the tomato either. Potato also be lost. I see that God is going to do this <coughs> for us. Get men and women ready so that when God moves by His Spirit, those who need to get to the field will get to the field. Those who need to get to the sea will get to the sea. Those who need to get inland will get inland. Those who need to go up the mountain will get up the mountain. Why? Because God wants us to have quality life. Yes. The church will be able to reveal the kind of life that we live. Yes. No longer I that liveth, but Christ yes. that liveth in me. Yes. The life I now live. The now life is great. Yes. Training school for businessmen. Training school for married couples. Training school for the youth. 
pool table for the old <laughs> OLD <laughs> and the senior citizens and the golden angels <clears throat> will prove to the world that Jesus came to give us life and life abundantly. So everything that is of life is going to manifest. I believe that days come that we start to deliver, start to supply all that's needed for people everywhere. Don't stop your children if they're going to go to that kind of dimension. Students are beginning to learn how to see all kinds of stuff being done, changed. Where's Marcel? God's using him to begin to heal rivers, make mud balls, so that the bacteria in the river will be destroyed and the river will become clean, put some fishes in there, get the river come alive again. When he started to do for the village, he's not a politician. The newspaper wrote about him. Then all of a sudden, the the politicians in, in that constituency squiggly came and gathered around him. How come you're doing it without us? <laughs> because you have been a parliamentarian without us too. <laughs> now everything is accelerating yes. because somebody is doing it the ones who are responsible became responsible. We move everything faster. You go to school, your children will move the class faster. You go into ballet dancing, you will move the, to the next level. You go and join Toastmasters, they will take you to the next level. Are you ready? In the last few days that we talked about to make the man very strong. So the man who is strong will deal with a strong man and bring things down. The strangest thing is this, it's going to be easy to make that happen. Because God's going to give you grace to speak and declare and push in the spirit world that what would take 10 years will get done in 10 months. Let's lift our hands and begin to pray. Lord, we thank you that your hand is upon our lives, that all that we desire to do, you will help us do. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord, help us by the power of your Spirit, that all that we desire to do, you will move and accelerate in the days to come, that the word will go out fast. The Spirit of God will cause miracles to happen quickly. Quickly, Lord. So that the waters will begin to flow like a mighty torrential rain and the Spirit of God will take us to the next level. Oh Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that something powerful will happen. Something powerful will happen. Let God touch your mouth. Let Him touch your mind. Let Him touch your pocket. Let Him touch your heart. Touch every aspect of your life so that in the days to come, you will consider to become totally sold out for all God's plan and purposes. Hallelujah. God will take you to the next level. All things are possible to him who believe. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 amen.
the sun.